With so much content whizzing around out there, there's only one storytelling platform that helps you keep calm and stay informed and inspired. Flipboard. Flipboard curates the world's stories so you can be smarter in your work, life, and play. Choose from thousands of topics to personalize Flipboard and get the latest stories from the best publishers and experts delivered to you 24-7. When you see stories you want to save or share, tap the plus button to add them to private or public collections. It's that simple. Used by millions of people every day, Flipboard is how people move themselves and the world forward. Get started now at Flipboard.com. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 373. In today's episode, brewery teams with Kellogg's to fight food waste with throwaway IPA beer. <laughs> Consumers are increasingly becoming aware of the environmental impacts of how their food is produced. One company has come up with a smart way to deal with food waste. Kellogg's has teamed up with a craft brewery to use rejected cornflakes in their beer production. The UK division of Kellogg's is supplying Manchester's Seven Brothers Brewery with the excess flakes to produce their throwaway IPA beer release. The name is a play on the Kellogg's normal policy of discarding improperly cooked and over and undersized flakes. The Outcast Flakes will be instead upcycled and reused to brew the IPA. The Seven Brothers IPA recipe uses about 130 pounds of cornflakes per batch, or about 30% of the grains. The cornflakes reportedly deliver a light body and texture and a light, corny flavor. The brewery also uses quite a bit of wheat in this IPA, which presumably helps to add back in a heavier, smoother texture to balance out the lightness of the cornflakes. The resulting 5% ABV brew will be sold in both cans and on draft. A portion of the proceeds from the sale of the beer is being donated to food distribution charity Fair Share in the UK. Kellogg's corporate social responsibility manager Kate Prince said in the Telegraph, Kellogg's is always exploring different and sustainable ways to reduce food waste in its factories. Seven Brothers follows in the footsteps of UK-based Toast Ale, a food waste fighting beer company that launched in 2016. Is, it, is this beer crunchy? <laughs> Can you put milk on it? And, and, Can you put milk yeah. in it? Well, they have a milk stout. That's what I want to know. Uh, that'd be, <laughs> I don't understand. All right, this is a funny little story, but I like, I like the upcycling of food waste. I don't think a lot of people, you know, here, here I am on my soapbox again, but I don't think people really realize how much food waste there is in this world. And I like a company like Kellogg's. We all know this is just another PR move, but we, I like how they're taking something that they're going to throw it away and give it to somebody else. Yeah, no, that's that's absolutely true. I just find it really funny. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. It's and I like the name. It's Throwaway IPA. Unfortunately, this beer is only available in the UK because that's where the brewery is located. This is a this is happening in England and not in the US of A. Unfortunately, one hundred thirty um, pounds of cornflakes per batch. That's a lot. You think about because <laughs> cornflakes don't weigh, don't weigh a lot. So imagine how many cornflakes they were throwing away. I wonder where those old cornflakes were going when they weren't going into the beer. I guess for animal feed or something like that. I didn't really oh, research that part, but you would you would hope, right? That is a lot. Is a lot of cornflakes, my friend. Because I, I don't know if you've lifted a box of cornflakes lately, but one hundred thirty pounds is like. Uh, which is, would you like some uh, milk with your beer? <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty cool, and we see a lot of we see a lot of consumer product brands getting on board with the sustainability train. Again, it's a you know part of it's a marketing move, which I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. I'm okay if 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 the all, if the means are to the end or or, the, or if it all leads to the same place, I, I should say. But uh, you'll see like sustainable packaging and people are doing, you know, beer companies are doing away with the rings. They're doing away with bottles. A lot of, you'll notice most craft beer now is in cans, which I love a good bottle of good beer, but right. I understand why they're heading that way for recycling and, and cost and weight issues as well, because it costs a lot of money to ship a case of bottled beer as opposed yeah. to canned beer. So pretty interesting story. The brewery is Seven Brothers in England. Don't know if you can get a, get get a hold of it here, but we'll have a picture of the beer on our website, ecommerceminute.co. Bart, do you have anything to add? Drink more beer. Drink more beer for the holidays because today is the twentieth of December. It's almost Christmas. This is one this is one of our final shows for the year. I believe we have one more our year end wrap up, and then we'll be taking a brief hiatus until January third with season three 
Brand new episodes, new cast. No, nope, same old cast, but <laughs> new episodes. And you never know. It might be a new cast. Who you knows? never know. It might have a new theme song. might introduce a new character, like a Cousin Oliver type thing. You never know. <laughs> cousin Oliver. <laughs> so, yeah, one more show after this, and then we will see you in the new year. But for now, that's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.